China's economic downfall, loss of confidence in property sector. The world's furthering problem in China's commercial property sector could sow a seed of sin within China's wealth creation, analysts warned. The claims came after China Evergrande Group informed investors over the weekend that it would struggle to convince stakeholders of its funding plan, worth $300 billion. The business admitted that it has filed preliminary principles for its restructuring of its offshore debts in Hong Kong with the stock exchange. It also said that its subsidiary, Evergrande Group, Nan Chang, had been ordered to pay a named guarantor 7.3 billion yuan, which is 1.08 US billion dollar for failing to honor its obligations. For the government, there is a priority to break the continuous loop in which leverage on the financial sector's part and the liquidity crunch on the part of the developers can occur. Introduced by Chaitanya Sinha, Chief Economist for Greater China and North Asia at Standard Chartered Bank, these insights were presented at the Bloomberg Singapore Street Science Asia Conference. China is facing a home mortgage repayment conflict, with thousands of homeowners across 22 cities defying the federal government by refusing to make a payment on uncompleted real estate projects. If this does not pay off over an adequate amount of time, it will have a significant effect on the country's economy, including the government's balance sheet and the bank's balance sheets, and households in general. The Economist pointed out that issues in China's property market threaten the foundation of an essential part of a strong economy with a real estate market. Sales of property, which account for a substantial part of provincial government revenue, have fallen from 30% in the past year. The Economist added that the recommendations made by him should revolve about fixing issues related to the real estate market. They should be applied holistically, rather than piecemeal, in order to avoid mass insolvencies. Dan Wang, Hang Seng Bank's chief China economist, said the state aims to give loans to companies in financial distress so they will be able to finish building unsold houses or finish an already existing project. The Chinese Politburo last week signaled the country could miss its 5.5% GDP growth target for this year, while new data showed China's factory activity contracted unexpectedly in July after bouncing back from COVID-19 lockdowns in June. Given that Beijing is taking the property crisis particularly seriously, it's hard to expect the Evergrande crisis to be ever resolved and may not even be resolved ever. Credit Sites co-head of Asia-Pacific Research, Sandra Chow, highlighted this. Investors are still cautious, not just of China, but of China's property market as a whole, Chow mentioned. Properties in China are still presently in difficulty, despite the government's family-oriented investments and easing policies. So foreign investors are going to be having a hard time rebuilding confidence in the Chinese property sector.